Welcome back to the Noxramus Raid Guide. In this video I'll be covering Grand Widow Ferlina, the second boss in the Spider Wing. My name's Ciderhelm from Tankspot, and like the rest of these movies, these are intended for full raids rather than just for tanks, so feel free to repost them to your guild forums. There are several different ways to take down this encounter depending on your raid composition and whether you're shooting for the achievement or not. Since this movie shows the method we use for the achievement, I'm going to take a moment before getting into the movie to show you how you would do this normally. The encounter is fairly simple. There is a bit of AoE damage that's going to be going through this. Uh, you're going to watch out for a rain of fire. If, depending on whether you're just trying to burn Feralina down as fast as possible, then don't worry too much about the rain of fire. Go ahead and heal through it. Uh, as for the tank, you're almost never going to want to get out of the rain of fire because you do have to keep Feralina in a fairly stationary place uh, for the sake of your DPSers and in the 25 mem for the sake of your priest. Uh, so you're not going to be moving too much at all. And there's also going to be something called a Poison Bolt Volley. Uh, this is a poison, you want to get rid of it as soon as possible once it casts. It's not actually available to go on the raid through most of the encounter, depending on your strategy. And this is because of an ability called Widow's Embrace. When Widow's Embrace debuff is active on Grand Widow Ferlina, she will not be able to cast a Poison Bolt Volley. Okay, getting into the minions here, we're going to have uh, either four minions in the 10-man or six minions in the 25-man. The first four minions you're going to be worrying about here, particularly for the 10 man, this is all you need to worry about, are called Worshippers. In the 10 man, the Worshippers, whenever they're killed, they cast an AoE around them. It's not too large of an AoE, so they do need to be fairly near Grand Widow Feralina. They cast an AoE around them called Widow's Embrace. Now, the Widow's Embrace is key to this encounter. It's also key to, it's also key not to use this on Feralina to get the achievement. But what the Widow's Embrace does is it like I was saying about it delaying the Poison Bolt Volley, it also delays her in Rage. There's two ways to use this. You can either use this reactively or you can use it preventatively. If you want to use it preventatively, Ferlina has a pretty nasty in Rage. If you use it a few seconds before her enrage, it delays the enrage by 30 seconds. If you use it reactively, meaning just a few seconds after her enrage, it will actually give you a full minute of time in which she can't enrage. So if you're willing to take a few hits from the enrage, use that reactively, kill these adds in the 10 man right next to her immediately after she enrages. So you want to bring them down, have your off tank, have some of your DPS, make sure that they're all down to a fairly low amount of health, uh, maybe 10%, actually probably safer around 5%, and then make sure there are no more attacks, no AoE, nothing like that going on that might accidentally kill them. Uh, so you're going to want to keep those nearby. If you want to use it preventatively, if your DPS is very high, it can be valuable to do that, especially if your healing is low. Uh, one thing it can be valuable to do is go ahead and burn the adds immediately before that, uh, get another 30 seconds, get another 30 seconds, do this four times, and then you're going to hit a hard enrage after that point. Uh, you can burn shield wall at that point, you can burn whatever as a tank, and then after that you have to deal with the enrage, but hopefully she's dead by that point. In the 25 man, uh, it's going to be handled a little bit differently. The 25 man, you're also going to have two other adds at the beginning of this encounter. Have a third tank pick those up. They're going to be called followers. They're going to be right in between each of the uh, two sets of... Uh, the two sets of two worshippers are going to be right in the back middle of each of those sets. So pick those up, make sure those get burned down by the raid immediately, then go ahead and work on Feralina. In the 25 man, you don't want to burn down the worshippers at all. They actually have to be mind controlled by a priest, and when the priest gets them, they can the priest can move them towards Feralina, and then at the appropriate time, either preventatively or reactively, again, same concept here, you can use Widow's Embrace, and that will sacrifice the Worshipper. So have an off-tank, make sure that those are all ready and somewhat near the Priest at all times. Uh, the Priest, you don't want to be mind-controlling too early because you do run the risk of getting stuck in a Reign of Fire, for instance, or getting Poison Bolt, all of, this, uh, all of these things that can potentially go on during the 25-man encounter. Uh, so healers, you also want to make sure of that, so when they are mind-controlling, you do want to make sure that they are being taken care of as far as heals and everything else. And again, the tank, you don't want to move during this encounter, even out of a rain of fire or anything else, because your priest needs to rely on you being in a set place so they can mind control and they can move their, they can move their worshiper over to Feralina and then use the Widow's Embrace. With that, I'm going to go ahead and get into the movie and I'll show you guys how to do the achievement. This is one method of doing the achievement. This method is based on having two healers as opposed to three in the 10-man. Because we only have two healers, we're going to be bouncing off tanks. If you have three healers, it's a lot safer for you to have just one tank taking all of her enraged tits throughout this encounter. With that, enjoy. Just pulled fairly enough. 
Notice I'm pulling her back here. Normally you keep her up on the platform with those adds. That way the adds can, uh, whether you're mind controlling or whether you're going to be just killing them in the 10 man uh, for the Widow's Embrace, that way she's going to be up there. I pulled her back here just to make sure that the Widow's Embrace, when those adds are being killed back there by the rest of the raid, that they're not going to affect Feralina in any way. Now I've got my off tank clearing those out in if you have the if you have the healing capable of just keeping one tank alive through her enrage, it can actually be a lot better for you to keep the off tank off tanking those throughout the encounter. Uh, in our case, I need my off tank. I've got two healers. We're not too confident about our health here, so I need to make sure he's available so we can uh, handle this enrage, and you'll see why shortly. It has to do with taunt. Taunt is at a 20 yard range now. It's going to be at a uh, 30 yard range soon. Now, I have to admit, for tanks, I am not positioning as well as I could be. Uh, you'll see after I top back that I'm not actually facing her at one point. I'm just slightly off. I was anticipating having to strafe her just out of instinct here, but uh, make sure you don't do that. She's going to enrage. I'm putting up my shield wall at this point as soon as she does this. There we go. She hits pretty hard. This is harder than you're going to find uh, patchwork for hateful strikes. I may be incorrect on that, but she does seem to hit pretty hard through this, uh, and there is AoE damage going on throughout the encounter. Off tank has just picked her up. My off tank here, Masana Man Bear Pig on the tank spot forums. He is uh, burning his cooldown now, and then we're talking over vent to make sure that we know when we're going to be taunting off each other here. It's a little quicker after this because we both burned our major cooldowns. And as you'll see in not too long, if you're watching my grid uh, healers, one of my uh, one of the two healers we have in here actually disconnects, which makes us a little rougher. And this is one way of doing the achievement. The other, again, is just to burn her as fast as you can, uh, have all heals go onto one tank, and that's the other way to get the achievement. Thanks for watching this video guide. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask at tankspot.com, regardless of whether you're a tank or not. You're more than welcome to stop by.